making us hunt for our own food. Philip, quiet. Father brought us here to teach us a valuable lesson. Can't you see? Today, you must embark on a hunt. To develop as rulers of this realm, you too must participate and learn the craft. Yes, sir. What should we catch? One hair each. Do not let me down. Shouldn't be too hard, right? One hair each. Wait, freeze. Do you see one? Quiet. <gasps> Not so hard, is it, Jules? <sighs> How much farther are we going to have to walk? Just give it up, Jules. The rest of the hairs ran away. Just a little bit further. I'm sure there's one around here somewhere. Afraid you'll let down, Father? It's late. We should head back or the darkness will swallow us. Did you see that? Uh. Ha! You were correct after all. That was my hair! <laughs> now I've got two and you have none. Father will be so proud. Please, give me one just to carry back. Hmm. No. I must show father that I'm as capable to rule as my brother. I don't dare to return to father with only shame carried in my hands. Wait a minute. My hands. That's it. Do you remember what father taught us about holy combat? You mean the game kings play? For the hair? For father's blessings? I challenge you to rock, paper, craft blades! I don't want to. But you must agree! If a person of the same status challenges you, you must accept! We are both princes! You cannot refute the call! Those are the rules! Fine. And if I win? What do you desire? How about... Your soul! My soul for a single hair? But of course he knows he can wager so high. Father's judgment looms over us! We're twins! I know Father loves us equally, but with each passing lesson, I feel myself sinking further from his good graces. But what good is fatherly love in the eyes of love eternal? Without the Holy Spirit that finds us, I'll be worthless, doomed to roam an empty planet as an apostate when rapture strikes. What say you, brother? Hmm. One, One, two, two three, three, shoot! Uh, 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 <laughs> you lose! Come on, the servants must be preparing a feast for the great hunters. Let's go home! Jules, are you unwell? You're so pale and haven't eaten a thing. Philip, what, what has happened to your brother? <gasps> we made! The young prince has fallen in! His soul is completely gone. <laughs> Impossible! Two of my son! My people 
On this day, the one-year anniversary of my coronation, I bring forth a token of peace! Given to me by none other than the Barbarian King himself. This token of peace means their attacks will come to an end! Look at them, so complacent and happy. Ruling is so easy. Peace, war, what's the difference anyway? Now they're in the palm of my hand, ready to obey my every order. The jewels? Do my eyes betray me? Philip, you knew I would return to claim what is rightfully mine. Greetings, brother. Brother. <laughs> the mark on your head. Ha! Still recognize me? I'm no longer the kind soul I once pretended to be. I've trained for one whole year in the Order of the Cross Blades. This is my moment. No turning back. I challenge you to... No! no! You dare refuse the call to holy combat? You must accept! <laughs> Do you not remember, brother? We are no longer of the same status. I am now a king, and you are not. I need not accept challenges from peasants. But by all means, go challenge one of the servants. Maybe they'll entertain your delusions. One year later, and you're as cowardly as ever. No true king rejects the call for holy combat. Only when a true king challenges me. Guards! After him at once! Do not let him escape! I want him in chains! My brother embarrasses me on the anniversary of my coronation, no less! Philip, I know this night was important to you, but you saw what Exil has done to him. What do you expect? Hmm. He's your twin, after all, and he's been through a lot. You have a kingdom to rule, not a score to settle. Uh, Elizabeth, my love, you keep the gates to my heart open. The people would suffer without you. You flatter me, my love. Let us head home. We've had enough revelry for one evening. <gasps> Father's grave. He taught me everything, but now that I stand here, I'm filled with questions. Father, I need your wisdom. I have never questioned your love for me. But I begin to question the love of our creator. Fate forces my hand to lose every battle! Have I been cursed since that rueful day when my boyish folly turned into cosmic sin? Have I not proven myself yet? Fate, if you're really there, guide me and I will follow. If I must be a king to challenge him, then so be it. I shall not see him again until I wear a crown of my own. I must find a kingdom in need of a king. I, King Goto, have come to avenge my kingdom. You have forced my subjects into submission, but I will not submit. You raid my lands and then call your spoils of war a token of peace. The only peace you brought to my people were quiet graves. As their leader, it is my duty to personally share your vision of peace with you. Oi! Keep the doors closed tonight! King's orders! Oi! Who goes there? I am a guest of the king. No further guests allowed tonight. King's orders. Oh, really? I have written permission right here. Huh. <laughs> Got him. I am but a vessel sent out to sea. Let the winds of fate carry me to my enemy, and let my enemy's lust bring their gaze upon the holy symbol of death which I carry by my side. Oh, blimey. That was my last match. Looks like you need a hand. Do you need a light? Oh, I suppose so. Thank you. Here you go. <laughs> Got him. 
barbarian in the castle? Stop! You're under arrest! Fine. Put me in shackles. <gasps> the barbarian king? Elizabeth, look me in the eyes! What's happening? Let your eyes gaze upon me and nothing else. My eyes gaze upon none but you, my lord. Yes, but if you falter for even a moment now, it will spell your doom. <gasps> your judgment is upon you, King Philip. Gaze into the symbol of death and die with honor. Does he think I'll give in to his little trick? Ha! Clearly he's never faced a mind like mine. <gasps> but Elizabeth, sweet Elizabeth, gentle and pure, her heart and her mind are wide open. How else could her smile be an effortless delight to all who are graced by her presence? Like a butterfly, she dances upon the air, but also much like a butterfly can be blown off course by even a gentle breeze. King Philip, your ancient knowledge has fortified your mind like no one else I've met. While the iron walls you've built to protect your psyche may hold, now I see there is a crack through which I can slip. And to whom might this treasure belong? I hope it doesn't slip from my palm and break. <gasps> Those are my mothers! We have many sacred heirlooms. Do not waver! <laughs> and whose ashes might these be? Hope they weren't anyone special. My grandfather! Elizabeth! <gasps> my eyes! <laughs> Your iron will is very impressive, King Philip. <sighs> Tell me, is your will strong enough to stop a blade? <gasps> Die! <laughs> Got her. <laughs> Elizabeth! Now let your final gaze fall upon your dear queen. Ha! I should have never underestimated him by luring Elizabeth first. He's put me in an unwinnable scenario that puts my very humanity at stake. If I follow my heart and look at my faithful wife, therefore beholding the symbol of death, I'll be luring my conscience away from the mental fortress I've worked so hard to build. But I'm afraid that by not looking, it will lay the final stone in the brick wall protecting my psyche and my mind and heart it will become impenetrable. I won't be able to let anyone in ever again, including Elizabeth, forever! I will lose my last shred of humanity. Open your mind, Philip. Let it all in. Your attacks will have no effect on me, barbarian. <laughs> my instincts remain razor sharp. But your wife, you must look. Have you no heart? I know your faith and the discipline you swear by. You cannot lay a finger upon me if I do not look. And my faculties are stronger than your lure. You are powerless against me. <laughs> Guards, put on your blindfolds and restrain this intruder! So I want his hands covered in iron, never to be seen again! Please! What? Son of a please! Oh. Oh. What have I become? Do you remember who taught it all to make a yada? Show Google, Joe Shimna, Spasa, this, Hapata, it's a body. Go on, we say more, Nani Moka, Moka, so, kill the now, he kills I, the Shimada. Kimi no man is a girl, and no one can go on the own. Kimi no say, 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 
I still can't get over the fact that like a brand new visual effects technique is in our hands as open source free software. It's crazy. We're running this on our, our PCs. If you have a decent gaming PC, you can do this yourself. The thing is I had to experiment and figure out my way through this and a bunch of people helped me on Discord and various communities. It was amazing. I figured I could help out a little bit and just make a tutorial for anybody out there who wants to do what we're doing. If you want to try doing this, I have made a full tutorial series that's going on our website, CorridorDigital.com. We cover everything from fine-tuning model to using more Fusion to compositing, and we'll also have a community challenge at the end, plus a whole Discord server. It's going to be a good time. If you want to learn how to do this, CorridorDigital.com. There's a free trial. You can check it out.